All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I got something pretty cool in this pocket right over here. Uh, Christensen Knife Works uh, Maverick S in this pouch. But also, you know what? Uh, you could check out, guys, is fablades.com. See what's going on there. Maybe there's some nice uh, fidget toys. Maybe there's some nice knives you want to check out. Uh, so let me know. Uh, anyways, this guy comes in a pretty cool pouch. Uh, like uh, it's uh, there's a button, pressure button, a microfiber cloth on the inside. Yeah, it's pretty cool uh, indeed. And inside you find this little fella. Right over here you have a very nice one. Not too big. I mean... Um, and just for size comparison, here you get a Para 3, which is a pretty cool one. Thanks, Clark. And uh, here you get uh, a small Sebenza 21. And I'm just going to show you this other little fella right over here, which is a Neon uh, NL uh, custom division from Shirogorov. And, uh, uh, you know, just to say that this guy is, let's do it in centimeters, it's not like super big like you can see it as like 7.5 centimeters for the cutting edge and uh, like 10 uh, centimeters for the handle overall length is going to be 18 centimeters and uh, this guy is uh, pretty pretty cool i have to say um i like it very much it's made by riat it's a production knife made in china it's gonna set you around like 350 bucks uh, something in that uh, uh, ballpark uh, because the custom uh, counterpart of this one is gonna be yeah much more expensive for sure not uh, this cheap. I mean, it's still uh, quite expensive uh, uh, for a pocket knife, but uh, not comparable to the uh, custom counterpart. It's pretty cool um, design. Uh, this one that I'm holding, it's a titanium frame lock with the contoured scales uh, with a very subtle uh, finish i would say kind of like a very gentle sandblast almost zero blast um it, it's uh, it's porting some internal skeletonization to reduce the weight look at that nice milled out pockets uh, there's internal chamfering going on uh, all the edges uh, on the in uh, outside as well are chamfered nicely so nothing sharp going on pretty simple construction you get uh, a uh classic pivot screw with a couple of body screws these are chicago screws going through the zirconium backspacer geared up but absolutely flush with the handle uh, matching the zirk pocket clip really cool design for sure uh, zirk studs and a set of zirconium pivot collars uh, really really cool um, matching uh, accents uh, for this uh, little fella right over here. Um, the pocket clip is tip up carry only. This much knife is going to be sticking out from your pocket. It's uh, not reversible. You just uh, cannot mount it on this side. So it's just going to live uh, on the lock side. Um, external cut out for the lock bar. Perfectly centered and safe. You cannot snag that tip. Um, Look at the uh, pocket clip, also very cool design. It's a very long and uh, spacious uh, uh, area here. There's room for the thick fabric pants you're going to wear. And uh, the ramp just allows this guy to go in and out with no issues. The pivot, uh, I believe, it also acts as an over-travel lock bar stabilizer, which uh, um, prevents uh, you from overextending the lock bar on that side. If you check, there is a uh, stainless steel lock face insert right over here to eliminate completely lock stick uh, from the encounter of the titanium with the steel of this blade. That's pretty, pretty cool indeed. So, um, very nice handle. It's it's comfy, but what I really like is the blade. I mean, this is a very thin stock. Uh, um, I mean, uh, so, uh, thickness. Sorry, behind the edge. Uh, actually, let me check. Uh, how much are we talking? So stock thickness 3.2 millimeters, but behind the edge, let's say at this point, this fella is. Uh, point uh, yeah point three eight. So it's it's very thin. You can you can feel it. It's super nicely uh, ground hollow there's no jimping dual thumb studs you get a swedge nice uh, uh, satin flats uh, perpendicular to the belt grind lines of this hollow grind that's really really cool uh, Warncliffe uh, style blade just a very gentle belly here for the edge sharpening choil is going to be easy to sharpen this fella and um, 
just sterile looking blade on this side, uh, CK logo on the show side. So um, really, really cool indeed overall. Look for the uh, Maverick. Uh, if we check the sound, ooh, look at this thwack. And closing. Clickety clackety. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, it's a little bit loud in the deployment sound, but it's uh, dry and like, oof, it's pleasant. Um, action also is very good. Uh, this guy's rule is running on um, bearings, but you see, you disengage the lock bar and you keep it in vertical position. There's no guillotine effect. You just gotta have to wiggle a little bit. You can even deploy it with two uh, fingers like that. You can do thumb uh, deployment. You can do like a reverse uh, uh, deployment as well. Uh, you can do probably like a five finger flick uh, ch challenge. I'm not gonna be able to do ever with the pinky, but still you can do it. It's um, it's a very fidgety one because the thumb start action is so dialed in. The detent is super snappy. So very, very good action. There's no drop shot again, but uh, I'm sure maybe with some breaking in period that this guy is gonna be able to just glide um probably not drop because the blade stock is not that thick so and it's short so there's not much weight but i'm telling you the deployment is very very dialed in like not like that but like this pleasant snappy it's fast it's very good, very, very good action. Uh, in the hand also, it feels great. It's a little bit short uh, handle for my paws, but uh, it works. Not many hotspots, maybe like a little bit like here, but not much. There's no jimping, so it might feel a little bit slippery, but this finger groove here helps uh, uh, a lot, like to just handle it. Um, you see, there's a little bit uh, of room here to disengage the locker, not much, but still it's doable. And what I like also is how they did the stainless steel lock face insert uh, right over here, pretty nicely flush done nicely no flex no rattle it's solidly built really well put together great action looks uh, very nice and uh, yeah i don't see pretty much anything wrong with this guy and the price is not gonna break the bank it's a nice titanium uh, frame lock with zirconium accent which is my favorite uh, uh color combination let's say uh, stainless steel insert a nicely done backspacer pretty cool grind i mean Check, check, check. So there you have it. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.